these are all skaters from the U.S. Figure Skating Association. They come here based on recommendations from their coach or from other people in, in the sport. And what this process allows them to do is sort of get that little extra competitive edge by actually analyzing the biomechanics of their jump. We've probably tested between 60 and 70 skaters with this system. So the simulation is based on the fact that we're only looking at what they're doing in the air. And we discovered a long time ago that almost every skater in doing these jumps has enough rotational energy to complete it. But it's what they're doing in the air that's preventing them from being successful. Here in the ice arena, we have 10 cameras, and they're actually attached to the beams in the ceiling with the wires running across the ceiling and down into the office where we work. In order to define the most accurate biomechanical model, we need to identify all of the body segments, so the arms, the legs, the chest, the trunk, and so we place the markers on specific anatomical landmarks to help us define those segments. So we want them to pick a jump that they're not super uh, comfortable with and they haven't quite perfected. Maybe they're not spinning the entire number of revolutions that they need to uh, accurately complete the jump. Um, so that way we're able to tell them what they need to do in order to complete the jump and kind of help them get to that next level. Some of them have asymmetries. So as opposed to having the arms against their side, one arm may be out. And that can be a compensation for another body part, such as a head leaning. Any asymmetry is going to slow them down in the air. It took the coaches time to build some trust in what we were telling them, and I think uh, today, I think they're a lot more receptive to what we have to say. Biomechanics in general is something that when I was in college, I had no idea about. My background is math, but it turns out you can apply math to really cool things. <laughs>